Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Meghnad. In this module, we will create a simple website with five web pages. And also we learn anchor tag, how we can use anchor tag from to navigate from one page to other page. So let's get started. Now to create a website, what I'll do is I'll create a new folder in my computer somewhere, D drive, I'm creating here, new folder. I'll write here my first website or my first web application. Now inside this, my first web application, I'll create new, uh, using Visual Studio, I'll create new HTML file, Visual Studio code. Now let me click on start. I'll just open Visual Studio code. And I'll write here file, new file. And I will save it, control S. Where do I want to save it? In my D drive. My Here I have to create HTML file and I want to write here home.html. Done. Now what I'll do is I'll just open MS Paint. Now I want to create a website like this. Now I want to create a web application or website. Normally if you take most of the websites you'll have something like this. So here you'll have some footer and here you'll have some left, nav left navigation bar where you'll have, so here you'll have something like this. Some image will be there here. Let's take um, ABC Technologies. Let's put here ABC Technologies. Something, that's a banner. And you'll have some footer here. Something like copyright reserved uh, ABC Technologies. And something, 2020 or something, right? And that's a footer. Now here you'll have some links in the left hand side. So where you'll have home, carriers, contact us, and gallery, and uh, something like this, right? Management or leadership, something like this. And all these will be links. So now, now I'll just put here, this will be links like this. And I'll just go to home and text. Yeah, that's good. Now this is how websites look like. Most of the websites where well, you'll have a header and you'll have some left navigation links you'll have. And then you'll have a footer. Now when you click on home page, when you click on this link, it'll take you to home page where you'll have welcome to ABC technologies and we'll have some data. When you click on careers, you'll see current openings. Contact us, you'll find a table data where enter your name, enter your mobile number, click on submit. Once you submit, they'll display message will get back to you. Gallery where you'll find images. So a lot of images will be there. And leadership team where you'll find the leadership team who has now total how many web pages we have? One, two, three, four, five. Now what we have to do is I'll be creating now, I'll just put here, this is page one, this is page two, this is page three, and this page four, and this page five. Now we have to create five pages and each file name should be should look something like this. This is home.html and this is uh, and this will be carriers.html and uh, this will be contact us.html. Don't give space between contact and us. Contact us.html and this one will be what is this? Gallery. Gallery.html. And the last one should be leadership.html. Now, when you want to create five web pages, either you can do it using tables or you can do it using div tags. So normally people use tables or div tags. There are advantages and disadvantages of each way. But now we'll be doing using table tag and we will complete it in less than five, 10 minutes. Let's see how to do this. Now, what I'll do here, let's go to Visual Studio and I'll complete one page now. So home.html is what I'm working now. Now I need uh, this table. Now let's assume that this is a table. And if I put dots here, if I put some dots here, now I'll assume that these are three rows. This is a table. This is one row, this is two rows, and this is three rows. We have three rows. And first TD is occupying two columns. Second TD, third, and second row, first TD, second TD. And third row, this TD also occupying two columns, right? So that's how we work on. So what we do here, always see the plus symbol. Don't go for the highlighter. So see the plus symbol. So this one, this TD goes for 
two TDs. This is TD where I'll put navigation link. This is TD and this TD also goes for two columns. So that's how we do it. Now what I'll do here. So I'll be adding as usual HTML is a root tag and we'll add head section and inside this we'll add body tag and then I need to add a table. I need to have how many rows? So I need to have one, two, three. So I need to have TR tag and another TR tag. Here I need to add another TR tag and now I need to add another TR tag. Now what I have to do here, the first one here, TD is occupying two columns. So I'll just put here TD call span is equal to two and I'll just write here header here. Now here I have to add two TDs, TD for the navigation and TD this is for the content. So the second row, this is the navigation and this is the content. Now I'll write here TD here, navigation here and here I need to write the content. And the last TD, what do we need here? The last TD, we need copyright symbol, right? So I'll write here, this TD also is occupying two columns, call span equal to two. I'll be writing here to print copyright symbol, we learned in lesson one or two. So ampersand C by semicolon. And I have to write here, ABC technologies, comma 2020, something like this. Now, now what we have to do now, let's save this. Let's see how it looks like in the browser. Let's go to the browser. Right click on this, open with Google Chrome. Okay, not bad. So everything is here. So we don't see like a complete page. It's not like a complete page now. So what I'll do now is I'll just write here uh, for this. I'll put border equal to one. The first thing, let's put border equal to one here. Let's see how it looks like. Border equal to one. And I'll also give width is equal to 100%. Now let's save it. Let's go back to the browser. And see here now, it is occupying the complete 100% of the screen because table I have given width. Now let's give height also as 100%. Let's go back to the browser and give here height equal to 100%. Now let's save it. Let's go back to the browser and refresh it. It's okay. Now it's occupying height as 100%, but I don't need this much height, right? I don't need this much height of the header. And I don't need this much height for the footer. So what I can do is I can mention in percentages. So now I just need the total height. Maybe if I see my image, this might be around 20% and this might be around 10% and this will be 70%. So what I'll do now is for the first row, I'll mention the height, first TR, first TD, I'll just, I'll just mention the height. Height is equal to 20%. And for the, for the last row, uh, for the last row copyright symbol, I'll just mention the height as 10% height is equal to 10 percent now remaining you don't have to mention for this td because if this is 20 this is 10 this will remain 70 let's see how it looks like okay not bad so now you can see the height is occupying this and footer is there this now i don't need for this one i don't need this much here navigation i just need till here so i'll just mention here width is let's put 20 percent so i'll just go back to this one and for td navigation one i'm mentioning width is equal to 20%. Now let's see how it looks like. Let's go back to the browser and refresh it. Okay, not bad. So now we have header here. We have navigation links here. We have content here. We have ABC. Now everything I'll make it center. So now I'll go back to this one. I'll make align center for all the TDs now. So let's put here align equal to center. Now let's save it. I'm just putting align center for all the TDs. Align center. Align center. And this also I'm putting align center. Let's save it. Let's go back and refresh it. Okay. So you're seeing here header. I will add some background color for this header here. So I'll add some background color and put it in bigger font. So let's go back and see here how to add it. So now if I want to add some background color for this TD, I'll just write here face style is equal to background color. See here, you can see this background color colon. So let's put some color here. So you can select color of your choice. I'm just selecting here orange. Now I'll just put here semicolon is over. And font size. Let's see, I'll just put font size. I'll just mention some here, uh, 20 or something. Let's see how it looks like. 
Let's go back to the browser and refresh it. Now see here it's looking like my header and I can also select the image size here. Let me put here, uh, let's give some PX if it works or doesn't work. Let's, let's see this. Okay, it's looking the same or I can give the relative. Let's put here medium, large or here we have something inches or let's see if it works. I'll just put here two or something, size two. Let's see how it looks like. It is very large image. So I'll just put here one. Let's see how it looks like. So here you can see there, that's looking like this. You can select different ways. You can select uh, different modes of it. Now let's see if I put 0 0.5. Now let's save it. Let's go back and refresh it. Okay, now I'll mention here ABC Technologies. Okay, done. Now let's see here. So not bad, it's looking like this. Now for footer also, I'll give some background color as light green or something. So I'll just write here how to give the background color. We have seen using style tag, right? So in CSS, CSS we learn this more about styles, background color. And I'll just mention some dark uh, light green or something, greenish yellow or something, whatever, that's okay. Now let's see how it look like. Okay, mm, yeah. Now let's not bother about the colors now. Uh, yeah, we got it. Now here in the in the navigation, I want to navigate for other pages. So this is a home page now. So I'll just mention here the content here. I'll just mention this is home page. Now I'll save it. Now this is home page. I'll save it. Let me refresh it. You can see this is a home page. And here I need links to all the pages. Now what I'll do is I will left navigation also I'll add some image background color. For navigation also I'll add some background color. Background color, colon, something. Let's, uh, let's not worry about it. I'll just put it something. Now this is how the website is and we don't care about the color match and all. Now what we'll do here, I want to add some links here. For that we need to have some pages. So total I need to add five links here. So what I'll do is I will save this. I will go to the folder and right click on this. I'll copy this and I'll paste it. Paste paste, paste, once again paste. Now we have five pages, I'll just rename this. Rename this to curious.html. Rename this to contactus.html. Rename this to gallery.html. And rename this to leadership. Done, we have now five pages. Now what we'll do is we'll go back and we'll open all the pages here. Now file, open file. We'll just open all these files here. Let me select all, click open. Now you can see here all the five tabs, one, two, three. So you can work with multiple tabs in Visual Studio Code. Now what I have to do now, let's go to home page now. And in this navigation, I need to add reference for the other pages. So how to do that is using anchor tag. So a href hyperlink reference. First I'll put home.html. I'll just close it here and write home. So this will take you to the home page. I'll add some BR tags. Now similarly, I'll copy all the, copy this. So this will take you to the home page. Now I'll write here, the second one is, let's take, I want to put second one is uh, contact us. And I'll write here. So, so this is the link, uh, anchor tag is used for displaying link. I'll show now what is ex what exactly is anchor tag. Now I'll just write here, the third one is um, gallery. I'll just see here, gallery. And the next one we'll do is leadership. And I'll just write here, leadership team. And what is the next one, carriers. So I'll just put here carriers. And I'll just put here job openings. Okay, done. Now let's save it now, let's go back and let's see how it looks like in the browser. Refresh. See here, now we are seeing these images. So we are seeing these links here, so that's what we needed. So what is the use of anchor tag is when you, um, it'll show like this. So a href, this is, a, this is what will be displayed here. So whatever I kept in between this job openings is getting displayed here. And when I click on this, it will take me to the careers.html page. 
This is hyperlink reference where you want to go. And this is called an anchor tag in HTML. So now I want to put this in all the pages. So what I'll do now is I'll copy this. I'll copy this, the below one, right click on this copy. Now, or I'll do control C. Now I have to put this in all the pages in the navigation section. Go to carriers, navigation here, paste it. Go to contact us, navigation here, select this navigation here, control V. Go to gallery, navigation here, control V. Go to home HTML, already there, go to leadership, navigation here, paste it. And also, and I want to save all here. So there are three dots here, so I can click on file, save all. So that'll save all the files. Now what I'll do here in this, this is home page. This is not home page. This is career page here. So I'm modifying career page. So I have to put here this career page. So this is career page. I'll put here, this is, this is what page contact us, right? So this is contact us page. And this is gallery page where you can put some images. This is gallery page. And this home page, we already have it. This is leadership team. Okay. Now let's save all file, save all. Now let's see how the website looks like. Cancel this and save it and file, save all. So we saved it. Now let's see how it looks like our website. Let's save it. So we are here in home page now. Here we are in home page. Let me click on contact us. So this is contact us page. Here also it changed to contact us. Now click on gallery. This is gallery and click on leadership team. This is leadership team page. Click on oh, job openings, careers.html, this careers page. So what you have to do is when you're practicing it, home page, put some image here, welcome to ABC technologies that write something, click on contact us, put some contact form here. Gallery, put some images here, five, six images. Leadership team, put some photo and write something there. And job openings, put some two, three job openings. And that's how you can practice. This is how we can create a simple website. And all it took for us is just 15 minutes. We have created a simple web page with a simple website with five pages using tables. And in real world projects, we use either tables or div tags. And I hope you will be able to create the simple website. But when you're sending to someone, how you have to send to someone is you have to zip this. So you have to go one level back and you have to zip this. Right click on this, send to compressed folder. And this one you have to send to someone if you want to send this website, right? Don't send this page separately because um, um, even if you have some images, folders, images, etc., so you need to zip the complete project web application, you have to send that, right? Okay, so I hope you are clear with how to create a simple website with five pages and um, that's all for now. Thank you, see you in the next module.